see what we have here. Wow. This is the picture of uh, La Masia. This is the residence that uh, I lived for two and a half, three years in Barcelona when I signed for Barca. And that's where I, sh I share rooms with um, Iniesta, Xavi, Puyo, Victor Valdez, Pepe Reina, a few of them. Xavi was two years older than me, Iniesta was two years younger than me, and uh, we had to look after each other, you know. So you start to build that relationship between uh, people that, okay, you compete against them, you want to be better than them, but as well you need them to go on that process personally as well to grow. And, uh, and I think that was probably the most important uh, period of my career because that's where I, I really believed that I could be a professional player. But together, I knew that the process has to be perfect because the small details here were very important and, and they wouldn't allow you to compete if, if you weren't good at, at school and stuff like that. So great, great memories. Iniesta was, for me, was the most special kid that uh, we had on that moment here. He was this big. I used to pick the ball and start running past plays. You know, he was all white like this, you know, really tiny. But as well, great character, you know, really humble, really sensitive. Pepe Reina used to sleep just above me and he really looked after me as well in those moments. And since then, you build a relationship that it's uh, for the rest of your life. What do we have here? <laughs> here is uh, when I was playing for Rangers. We had some really, really good players at the time. The Scottish League was very different to what it is now and the expectations and, and the size of the club uh, made me go there. I knew that that could be a trampoline for me for the Premier League when I was 20 years old and I shared uh, great experience with a lot of players like Ronald De Boer, Fran De Boer, Claudio Canigia, was Barry Ferguson. We, have, uh, we had a really, really good team there. Well, from Rangers, I went to Real Sociedad, which is my hometown, and, um, and it didn't work. But I wanted a different challenge. David Moyes knew me from Rangers, and, and he took uh, a brave decision to take me there because the style of football they were playing at that moment at Everton was very different to my qualities and abilities. But um, he believed that I could adapt. I went there and, and straight away uh, it worked really well. That was a funny thing. One day David pulls me in his, uh, in his, uh, in his office and says, uh, Mickey, he said, Capello was down to, towards the game on Saturday. Uh, he was really impressed. He wants you to play for England. <laughs> and I went, oh my God, this is trouble. First thing I said, boss, this has never happened before, you know. You are British, you know, you're Scottish, you know the mentality. What do you think? And, uh, and he went, well, I don't understand why Spain hasn't given you a call up. Go and do it, you know, you're brave enough, go and do it. And I said, okay, I need, I need some time to think about it because that's going to be very, very tricky. And, uh, and finally, we couldn't, we couldn't get it uh, legal. And, uh, and as well, I think it was a very, very difficult call. So just forgot about it. Well, this is me and Xavi. Me and Xavi played together in the same club since we were nine or 10 years old. We are from the same city, very close to each other. And in 10 years time, we were in the same city in Liverpool, playing for two different clubs, but living two doors away from each other. And we used to go to have dinner together, but we couldn't go to many public uh, places because fans won't like it. But I always say, this, these are my friends, you know. Xavi is a very good friend. Pepe is like my brother. He was my main man in my wedding, you know. Well, this is one of the closest uh, person I've got in, in, my, in my life. Um, he really looked after me when, uh, when I joined the club. Suddenly we had uh, that chemic between him and me that sometimes you cannot explain, you know. And we have a lot of things in common. 
our families get on together really, really well. We've been on holidays together. We've been everyone together. We used to share rooms and, and a lot of things. And, uh, and I love him. I love him a lot. And, uh, and I think he would say exactly the same thing. And, uh, and I know that I've got his, his friendship for, for the rest of my life. You don't get across in football with people so honest and so loyal and, some, and so professional like Pear. I trust him 100%. And he showed more than enough to me that, uh, that he's got all the abilities as a person and as a teammate to, to be a captain of the club. Uh, for me, he's very important because I can ask him anything. I tried to share with him. I tried him to participate, to have awards because uh, I really like the way he sees things and and the way he behaves. And um, and I'm lucky to have someone like him next to me. This is a really nice picture. This is when Aaron scored the winner on the FA Cup uh, final two seasons ago, and and hopefully a, a turnover at the club. You know was nine, ten years almost uh, without winning a trophy and that was the first one. And it was hectic as well on the day when we were <laughs> losing against Hull City Tunnel. You know, to be lifting that cup here at Wembley with the history of Wembley and, and with, with the Arsenal badge on your, on your heart, it's, it's unbelievable. And um, I think in five or ten years time when I look at those pictures, it will be even better. <laughs>